This is a rather unique Fiat X19. It's had a few custom modifications done to it. The bumpers are off of a early generation Camaro. The headlights have been modified from pop-up headlights to projector beam headlights. The lower front valance is hand formed out of aluminum along with a grill that gives it a nice little honeycomb type grill. It's out of aluminum also. The bumper and front valance all match the angle of the front of the car very nicely. The headlights are LED projector headlights with LED blinkers underneath. The headlights are excellent at night. They just light up the road super nicely. The wheels are magnesium, uh, kind of the Ferrari 308 looking wheel. And that was kind of the theme that was done on the interior of the car also. I like the look of that, didn't really want to copy them much, but that theme in general. It's got an aluminum formed dashboard, gauge cluster out of an Acura RSX, aluminum console, center section, short throw shifter, uh, very tight. Uh, the seats are out of uh, Mazda Miata, they've uh, been recovered in leather, all of the tan in the car is all the same leather. The black is a distressed uh, black vinyl, um, real soft and supple material. The steering wheel is leather. The yellow donkey decals are the same logo as that's on the back of the seat. It gives it a real Ferrari look to it, but it's not. The other real fun unique change on this car is it's got a motor out of an Acura RSX. Uh, it's the K20 swap. It's an RSX um, or the K20 A03 with a K20 A2 head and Z1 cams in it. So it's a little bit lower compression than the K20 A2 but that would give the opportunity of putting a turbo on it someday a little bit easier. The engine's relatively low miles. Um, it had kilometers on it. It was so roughly 150,000 miles, I believe. The uh, To get the motor to fit, a new firewall was made in it. That's all made out of aluminum and then insulated with uh, aluminum fiberglass insulation uh, that's made for transmission tunnels. The motor fits very tight and it's very snug, um, but it's still easy to work on. The exhaust is stainless steel. The trunk floor is also made out of aluminum. And it's insulated so it keeps everything nice and and cool back here. It still gets a little bit warm with the exhaust being underneath it like most Fiat's do. The tail lights are give it the round theme to kind of stick with the early Ferrari look and also an early Camaro bumper on the back. The exhaust comes out through an aluminum grill. It's the same material as the grill on the front. <clears throat> the engine cover is fiberglass with the hinges um, actually molded into it with some inserts and a trunk latch on it so you can have the fiberglass light light top and 
dill latchet closed. The side panels are aluminum side panels that are hand fabricated back there and then covered in a carbon fiber wrap. The fiberglass engine cover is also covered in the same carbon fiber wrap. The car is extremely fun to drive, light and nimble. I hope the next owner has as much fun with it as I have.